Hey everyone, this is episode 12 of 5 Minutes to Save You 50, where I promise you that I will save you at least 50 minutes. And I say this every episode, but it's only because the feedback keeps coming in. I'm saving you tens of hours, like tons and tons of hours, and you start stacking this stuff. And I think episode two, I made you a guarantee. If you didn't know the tip I was sharing, that I would save you 50 minutes, minimum guarantee, or I'd send you a copy of my book or one of my books. And then someone sent me a note and asked if that was a penalty. That someone happened to be my wife, but that speaks volumes uh, about that. Anyways, you're here to learn a new tip. And the uh, kind of motivation for this tip comes from how do I work really fast? And utilizing the capabilities of PowerPoint, I'm able to do a lot of graphic design right in the tool. So my methodology is always have multiple toolkits, start with the easiest, then go to medium hard, then go to the hardest one or the most time consuming one. And that's how I'm able to get agile and design kind of very visual presentations on my own. So in this case, I would try to use PowerPoint. If that doesn't work, then I would go and use an external tool like Pixelmator or Adobe Photoshop. And if that doesn't work, then I have to go use a media design agency. Lately, I've been having tremendous success on the hard stuff uh, with Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. It's not really an endorsement because they're not a company. They're a consortium of independent contractors that come there and you can get work done overnight. Anything from voiceovers that sound like movie stars to removing the background of a picture. I think I cleaned one image up for like 10 bucks the other day and it just keeps me working so fast versus the seven day wait time on agency. So we're gonna introduce you today to something called Soft Edge um, and also Glow, but I'm just gonna give you a light introduction. I want you to experiment with this and then I'll kind of teach you more how to use it. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff and mix it with some stuff you learn. So let's go into our presentation here. And so here I have this picture of this guy, he's coughing. I, I took an image that I wanna make this kind of a bad breath type of ad, so uh, I paste in this bottle of stream. Now, as I told you before, I'll get rid of these design ideas. That's another tip I should probably do at one point. Um, so here I got this white and there's two ways to get rid of this in PowerPoint. So remember, I always try to do it in PowerPoint before I go somewhere else. And one of those ways is, you know, easy level one and easy level two. Easy level two, so it's not where I start, is to go and hit remove background. And I did a whole video on that and how to sketch around that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll uh, get out of that and it took some out. We'll redo that or undo it. And then the easiest way to try with a background like this, I always do is to remove color. I set transparent color and I select any color here. Now notice if I do that, nothing happens. I want you to make sure you play with this uh, because it's just using machine learning and looking at surrounding pixels to try to figure stuff out. And it's not always perfect. Now again, I'll go back to color and again, I can, you know, I can change the color of everything if I wanted to, maybe have a blue hue that you're working on. Um, but here, I'm actually gonna go hit on the white. So that did a pretty good job, not perfect, right? So this is what I'm talking about when I think I can make things easier. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply this soft edge. So you double click on here, get into your format picture, and here's this thing called soft edge. Soft edge gives a feathering effect. So you can see what I've done here, right? I can feather that just into that if, if that's what I really wanted to do and kind of move that over like that. But that's not what I'm looking to do here. I want the whole bottle. So I'm gonna soft edge around here just a little bit. You can see some of those edges. The algorithm has missed some of these pixels. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe we'll give it just a little more. And now I'm gonna go hit a glow on it. And so we'll go with a, you choose a color of a glow. There's some predefined ones set here and it would show you that kind of stuff. And there's some preset glow effects in here. But I know what I wanna do in this case. So in this case, I'm gonna really glow this out. And you know, the transparency is how you want the glow. So if I make it fully transparent, I should be able to get that over here. And you know, maybe we'll go and move that here. And we'll go put that into presentation mode. And here I have a kind of a nice way in which I was able to add that kind of effect. So I, I think that's pretty cool. Hopefully you do too. So then we'll go to the kind of next slide here. Make sure we'll go in presentation mode. And I have this presentation I created, and this is actually one, two, three, four, five different images where I use that same effect to go and create that. And you're going like asking me, how did you do that? I mean, I think that looks like a pretty good collage. And so these are the original images. So let's go work on, uh, we'll work on the face first, as that sound. So, uh, let me go to selection pane. Here's another little trick of Taggio. We'll just go hide that for now. So what do I do here? Well, I go and I'm gonna recolor it. I'm gonna go to gray in there. And then I'm gonna go maybe put a glow. 
you'll play around with that glow, right? And so here I have the start of that collage here. Now I'm gonna go back and get my other image. I'm just gonna let it appear again. And this one will be kind of interesting. So we're gonna go do the same thing. Put that gray, cause that's the hue I kind of want. It's in a circle. So let me go and soft edge it. When I soft edge it like that, and you know, I chose a darker color. You could choose whatever color you want. But now you've got something kind of different going on, right? I'll move this person down here. And I like to overlap some stuff sometimes like that. And maybe I want to come right here. So I'm going to play with that glow and I'll probably play with the transparency in that case, right? So you can see how it fits in or change the colors as you want, right? So it kind of overlaps better. And that's exactly what I did to build uh, that last slide that you just saw. And I just placed them. So uh, there's some tips for you. Practice with the glow, practice with the soft edge. I'll do another episode down the road, maybe once we get to episode 15 and we'll show you some of that stuff.